Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got the Smith Corona 110 on the bench today. This was shipped in and got damaged in shipping just like a bunch of them have recently. This one was not packed tight enough and it actually popped the case open and the machine popped out of the case and got jolted around and the main thing is this front panel got bent and this is compressed in right here. So much so that the space bar is actually on the outside of the the body here. And there's no way the space bar can go down because it's bent. So we're gonna take off the bottom panel. I already got the tops loose here and off. So we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom off and pound that out. It's something I've actually done way too often. And uh, these Smith Coronas, at least they at least they do absorb energy sometimes in a area that can be reversed. Now these are nice and tight so this has never been serviced. I can tell by how tight the, that screw is. Let's see this one. And it feels pretty good. So just take these four screws off and I'm also going to show how to take the bottom off of course. That's always a challenge on these, so I just want to break these free with my good screwdriver. And then I'll put on my speed screwdriver and zip these out the rest of the way. Oh, maybe, maybe not. So the bottoms have to be manip manipulated off and they have to go around some <clears throat> some of the mechanism in here so that's a little it's a little tricky it doesn't seem like it wants to fit but it, it does so let's get this screw out of here and safe bottom panel off one more screw down here. I'll have this thing off. Okay, so it's ready to come off. One thing, I can flex it around these arms right here. These are the widest part, this arm and this arm. And there's screws right here, so you don't have to take these screws off, but it, it will help. I'm going to do it. I can do it without taking them off, but if you take them off, it gives you just that little fraction more of clearance because the body's got to go around that, that metal piece right there. And then it's got the arm on here, so let's flip this on its back and get this thing off. And just kind of get off and then when you get over to this side here, you've got to push, get the back bottom all the way up, off here, like that. And this side here, you just got to make sure it goes around that. On the outside of that, and then the outside of the other one. Oh, if the screw's off, it works a lot better. There's a screw bracket right there, so it just, it's just going to come right off. Remove the cord. So the insulation that was on the case peeled off probably because of the the dent in this case. So you can see it now. You can see that curvature. There's the old. That's what was in there was this piece here. But we don't need it. So there is a way to just pound this back. You can kind of just pound it back. But that doesn't give it enough curve. So what I found works pretty good is just take a couple rags, something to elevate it. Let me find another one here. just something to elevate it a little bit 
on these two corners like this. Go a little bit more. I'm going to put this like that. So now there's a gap down in here. It's kind of a limited amount of a gap, so then we can finish pounding that out. Take a look and see how she looks. I'm going to go a little more on this side right here. And just kind of eyeball it. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's going to clear. There's no trouble. Let's put this back on and just give it a test fit. Okay. Let's put the screws. I'm going to put two screws in here because it seems like it's shifting. I want to make sure it's. There's not much movement once you put these screws in. <clears throat> There's usually no no way to adjust this. And if, you know, it's kind of the, the screw hole here is doesn't leave much room for a adjustment front and back, side to side, anything like that. So. Once it's tight and all four corners are in there, it's pretty much fixed. So let's yeah, but I'm gonna put that side in too. Just to uh just to make sure that we got a we got it fixed up here. Nice, nice even gap right here. So this has got a pretty even gap right there all the way across. And let's plug it in just to make sure. But yeah, plenty of clearance. So that's all it takes. This thing pounds in kind of bends in kind of easy, but all right, now we're going to service, service this typewriter. It's got a few links off here and some other things. There's one that's off right there. Another one off right there. All right, I think typewriter. Good day.